We're talking about slowing down. We're talking about looking at things in a pristine landscape. And we're talking about believing that we belong there. What New Orleans resident and filmmaker Bess Carrick is talking about is her own little piece of paradise that she's carved out in rural Lamit County known as the Forest Retreat. Bess enlisted her longtime friend and historical specialist Don Didier and a local contractor, Joe Thomas, to create three unique cabins where she and others could go to escape the technology, pressure, and hectic pace of modern day society. The way that I market the forest retreat is I say, there is no phone, there is no TV, and there are no interruptions. There are bird songs, there are raindrops on the tin roof, there are starry nights, there are lightning bugs. And that's what you get to do when you're here. A portable sawmill was brought in to cut a group of trees from the land that were used to build the cabins. You know, we had to plan the building of the houses during the time that we were going to have the miniature sawmill come, because then he had to cut the trees, plane the boards, and stack them all up to dry. What we have here is the wood from the area and the nails of the period. Because a lot of times, even what they would do is when they would move early cabins or what have you, they'd burn the cabin down, take the nails, and build another house further down. The, so it's a sort of a pioneer uh, philosophy and the importance of nails. This property dictates what it wanted to look like. And this, this tradition of Andorondic or rustic was part of the American culture. Uh, it was an experience of getting out from, going into. And, um, th th and I think we're so complicated that we need to sometimes simplify things. And being in the country, it's simple. It, 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 it's just wonderful. And I think this is what we're trying to convey, uh, uh, a closeness with nature. The houses are up on stilts but you enter them through uh, the, on the top of a ridge, so there's no step. You can you know, just walk right from the top of the ridge onto the back porch. You open a sliding glass door and, and reveal to you is a beautiful sort of great room, if you will, and it has a vaulted ceiling and a ladder staircase that goes up to the sleeping loft. With the corrugated tin roof, wrap-around deck, and floor-to-ceiling windows, you almost feel that you're at one with the forest. And if you really want that all-natural sensation, take a dip in the outdoor tub. So on the lower deck of Thunder Ridge, we have this big soaking tub. And people apparently enjoy it a lot. They write about it. And sometimes, nine months later, we, they may name their children Forest. We're not sure. With the closest restaurant being more than 30 minutes away, guests are encouraged to bring their food. But be sure to leave your watch and day planner behind. They say that they have never slept better than they sleep after they get here and begin to realize, there's nothing I have to do in an hour. I don't have to go anywhere and no one's going to call me. I feel that this place, not only is it beautiful, not only are the cabins and the furniture and the landscape very intentionally designed in a, such a way that it's not even obvious that they are designed, that when people come here, they can begin to just immediately start relaxing. And as I, you know, read the responses that they leave in the guest book, some of the things that I am struck with is how they find their husband and their wife again by just sitting on the porch and actually having a conversation. It's sort of like the beautiful art of conversation that people enjoyed for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years seems gone 
in our modern times. And when you sit on the porch for four or five hours, you know, you really start talking to somebody. Without the pull of technology, you might find that you have time to write about your revitalizing experience in the journals provided in each cabin. The long spiraling approach prepared me for a still center, it was. I loved the walks along the finger ridges, the rocky creek bed, the great piney woods bordering the clearings, the oaks, and the magical magnolias, macrophilia. So she knew the name of these wonderful trees that everyone calls cowcumber. She wants to know, is the pond spring fed? I saw gilded perch among the birds, hooded warblers, pine warblers, and the rare red cockaded woodpecker. Anyway, I just thought she uh, was a beautiful writer. And then over here, these people talk about how much fun they had bringing their dogs and, you know, the fact that there was absolutely no phone and no television and they came here all, you know, rushed from children and soccer and then they, um, you know, were celebrating their anniversary in this beautiful space and that they found each other again in such a sweet way. The forest retreat is nestled next to the 198,000-acre Homochitta National Forest, which has hiking paths, bike trails, shallow streams, and picturesque landscapes for you to go and explore. It, I find myself feeling very grateful that the people that have come here for many, 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 many years leave feeling as if they have had some sort of wonderful experience, that they have fallen in love again, that they have found themselves in a different frame of mind than when they arrived. And that, to me, is an amazing gift to be able to give to thousands of people that I never see. For a copy of this program, call 601-432-6294 or send a check or money order for $14.95 to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. 3825 Ridgewood Road, Jackson, Mississippi, 39211. Please indicate the name and date of the program.